Today we're going to be taking a look at every Grand Theft Auto game ranked best to worst. Now, if you've been around the channel for a while, you'll know that a few years ago I made a video covering this same topic, except we ranked the games worst to best. Now, not much has changed since then as far as the ranks go, but as a content creator, I will say sometimes in the past or previous years, we've made YouTube videos that looking back on, we just aren't very proud of. This specific topic is one topic that I am not proud of and how I went about making that video. Today, I'm going to approach it from a whole new direction. I'm just going to list off each Grand Theft Auto game in the order that they were released, followed by a short description of the plot. And I'm going to leave it up to you guys to decide which games are the best all the way to the worst. Like I said, there's 14 Grand Theft Auto games. In the original video, I even left out two Grand Theft Auto games by accident. That's how much I've improved since then. So leave me a comment down below ranking all 14 Grand Theft Auto games in the order that you think is the best Grand Theft Auto game all the way to the worst. I hope y'all enjoy and let's get started. Released in October 1997, GTA 1 is comprised of six levels split between three main cities, Liberty City, Vice City, and San Andreas. Now the goal of this game is to reach a set number of points which are attained by performing tasks for the local crime syndicate in each city. There are eight playable protagonists to choose from in this game, and fun fact, four of them are female. So we have in fact, in the GTA series before, had a female protagonist. Now, you're actually free to do whatever you want in this game, but you have limited lives upon doing so. Even during missions, you are still allowed the freedom and the choice of which route you want to take to do so many different things. And this is what set Grand Theft Auto apart from all the competitors at the time. Released in March 1999, we got the GTA London 1969 Expansion Pack. Now, I will go ahead and say that there was also a London 1961 Mission Pack, which was an expansion of GTA London. It released at the same time, I believe. Now, London 1969 was an expansion from Grand Theft Auto 1 that basically took GTA 1 and skinned it over London. This game received many negative reviews as it was basically just a copy and paste with a different skin. But this game did, in a positive light, bring in over 30 new missions, new vehicles, and new radio stations. In September 1999, we also saw the release of Grand Theft Auto 2. Now, this game is a bit different than most GTA games. This one actually takes place in a retro-futuristic metropolis known as Anywhere City. This is one of the only cities in the Grand Theft Auto series to not be based off of a real-life location. Now, this city is split into three districts, and the goal of this game is to just achieve a certain score during tasks to proceed to the next level. It's a lot like Grand Theft Auto 1. Set in Liberty City, 2001's GTA 3 was the first GTA game to transition to the 3D era of games. We play along the footsteps of Claude, the silent protagonist who is looking to exact revenge on his former girlfriend, Catalina, for betraying him and shooting him in the throat. Come on, let's introduce you to the Don. If you do this for me, you will be a made man. Anything you want. Released in 2002, we've got GTA Vice City. Set in 1980s Miami, we play as the blue Hawaiian shirt wearing Tommy Versetti. And after having served a 13-year prison stint, he's actually released due to strings pulled by some very dangerous friends. And Tommy is sent to Vice City to do some dirty work instead of going back to Liberty City and stirring up the pot and causing a lot more ruckus and trouble. And while in Vice City, Tommy works his way up through the ladder of Vice City's criminal underworld until he inevitably takes out all of the competition and takes over Vice City. I 
GTA Advance. Released in 2004, we play as a character named Mike who looks to get out of the criminal underworld in Liberty City, but he's dragged back into it. And a lot of people don't know this, but GTA Advance is actually a prequel to Grand Theft Auto 3 taking place in the year 2000. Now, rated M for mature. Later on in 2004, we also saw the release of GTA San Andreas. And after leaving Los Santos in 1987, CJ, the protagonist of this game, returns home to bury his mother, who was recently killed under very mysterious circumstances. And while home, CJ is drugged back into the corruptness of 1992 Los Santos and forced to work his way to the top, finding out who his real friends are. Boy, get your brains loose for how you do your fingers, homeboy. He cocked, he poppin' hot ones, dump them out, bend the block, shake before the cops come. Listen for sirens, they don't got none. Back another lap, catch a straggler with the shotgun. Hitting them up with that Grove Street lock and a dirty slingshot, no Levi. A year later, in 2005, we saw the release of GTA Liberty City Stories set in 1998. We play as Tony Cipriani, a man who returns to Liberty City after being forced off the grid for the murder of a man on the orders of Salvatore Leone. After a series of unfortunate circumstances, Tony ends up working for Salvatore and becoming a highly ranked and respected member of the Leone family. This town, after what you did, you're like a son to me. I love you, Tony Cipriani. I'm getting paranoid, Tony. Just because I think everyone hates me doesn't mean they don't. Know what I mean? In 2006, we went on to see the release of GTA Vice City Story. Set in 1984, we take on the role of Victor Vance, who joins the military to support his sick brother, Pete. Well, after being set up and kicked out of the military by his corrupt sergeant, Victor Vance is thrown headfirst into Vice City's criminal underworld. This is a real man with a lot of walls. We will you grow free? trustworthy friend i'd say probably not yeah let's pop <laughs> grand theft auto vice city stories rated m for mature in 2008 we saw the first major gta release since gta san andreas and this was grand theft auto 4 set in 2008's liberty city we play as nico bellick a man who comes to liberty city following the blind promises of luxury big american titties and a new start from his cousin, Roman. While this is not the only reason for his journey to Liberty City, Nico is quickly sucked into the dark underworld of Liberty City. Released in February 2009, we got GTA the Lost and Damned, an expansion in an episode of GTA 4, where we play as Johnny Clevitz, and the story of this game revolves around the actions and lifestyle of members of the Lost MC. And this dark, gritty storyline documents the fall of the Lost MC biker game. In March 2009, we saw the release of GTA Chinatown Wars for the PSP and the Nintendo DS. And while this game takes place in the HD universe, Chinatown Wars is actually played from a bird's eye top-down view. This game is set in Liberty City, and we play as Huang Li, who is the son of a recently murdered triad boss, and arriving by plane with a sword that Huang Li's father won in a poker game and is going to be used as an heirloom to the new patriarch of the family. Huang and his escorts are ambushed with Huang being shot in the process. Thinking he is dead, the assailants dump his body in the water, leading to Huang escaping and exacting revenge. Now don't think I forgot about GTA The Ballad of Gay Tony. This game actually released in October 2009, where we play as part-time hoodlum and full-time assistant to Tony Prince, 
This story intertwines between the events of GTA 4 and the Lost and Dam through the eyes of Luis Lopez. Gate door? You'll always be the king of this town. You are this town. And in 2013, we got Grand Theft Auto V taking place in 2013's sunny San Andreas. We take on the role of Michael DeSanta, a washed up former retired bank robber. Trevor Phillips, a very insane man with a list of names we could call him a mile long. And Franklin Clinton, a young petty criminal looking for his big break to get out of the hood. Well, that's actually a short synopsis of all 14 Grand Theft Auto games that we have gotten. There's actually a list of canceled Grand Theft Auto games, which I plan to cover very soon. But be sure to let me know down below in the comments what your best to worst list of the Grand Theft Auto games are. I'm very excited to read through every single one of those. If y'all enjoyed this video, please help a brother out by leaving a thumbs up. Hopefully, I did earn that from y'all. A little love goes a long way. Hopefully, y'all do consider subscribing. And with that said, I'm Zach Cox. Thank y'all for tuning in, and I hope to see you in the next video.